your show. No, I'm not. <laughs> Will you? No. But you said five minutes. I've slowed down, Josh. <laughs> Daddy! What's up? Carter's here to he'll tie this army, and now he won't. Carter, come on. You're spending way too much time with that, that stick in your hand. <laughs> Plus, these years with your sister are very, very precious. And... No, 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 no. That's where the goblins are. Give me that. Eliza? Honey, I don't mind you playing with my bras, but the red satin one is kind of special. Is it magic? You bet it is. <laughs> Teddy, could you tie this on me? Of course. Are you a princess? Yes, and when Molly comes, she has to be the queen because she always makes me be the queen, and she's the princess, and this is my house, so I get to be the princess. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how she likes being the queen for once. Teddy, it's just a game. In <laughs> Can you be the scary dragon that chases us, and then we use our magic, and then we turn you into our pet that gives us rides? Will that make you happy? Yes. No. <laughs> Eliza, look. It's Abby and Her Majesty Queen Molly. Oh, that's Princess Molly to you. No, I'm the princess. I'm the princess. You can't always be the princess. OK, I tell you what, you're, uh, you're both princesses, and I am the evil queen who's going to put a spell on you so you can't speak. Yay! Abracadabra, alakazam, I hold your tongues in my magic hand. <laughs> hold on, I have to write this down. Hey, you. Hey. Where's Molly? Wow, Hi. no, no flannel. I, I, I hardly recognize you. <laughs> Teddy, you're a fabulous influence. Well, I'm still working on the white socks and sandals. <laughs> Hey, Molly, I'm a dragon who flies through the air. You want to ride? Yippee! Yeah! I should go first, keep my brother, and my turn, and my turn! We're not back by March. They're all yours. <laughs> Max, isn't this fun? A night out with the girls. Blinis at the Russian tea room. A handsome cab to the theater. Orchestra seats to the vagina monologues. I think I'm ovulating. <laughs> don't let this one get away. Oh, don't you let her get to you. She makes fun of everyone. In fact, my boyfriend Marcus would be here tonight, except he finds Hillary too intimidating. Wrestling on tonight? Mm-hmm. Hello, fellow co-workers. And Hillary, <laughs> and my man Max, you, sir, have ruined my life. The way Teddy goes on about you down at the office. <laughs> what does she say? Well, you know, who listens? <laughs> God, you try to make small talk. Can you sit down here? Sure. Man, this place is really crawling tonight, isn't it? And believe me, I've been getting my share of the looks. You're drinking out of a goldfish bowl who wouldn't be looking. Oh, this, yeah, yeah. I came across this on my club med vacation in the Caribbean. <laughs> Three of these, and trust me, you are full. Alan, I don't think the idea behind alcohol is to get full. Hell, followed quickly by O, is hello. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. <sighs> Oh, no. Oh, no. What's the matter? Uh, just somebody I'd really rather not see. Teddy? Jonah, hi. Teddy. Teddy. Glorious Teddy. Wondrous Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this is so embarrassing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Why? Um, Jonah, this is my fiancé, Max Ryan. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Uh, Jonah is, uh, an old, um, uh, my former, uh, and an ex. Oh, God. I'm so bad at this. Oh. I, I think I'm up to speed. So I take it this is your way of telling me it's over. <laughs> <laughs> you got a winner here, Max. Take good care of her. Will do. Good to meet you, man. I just want you to know that you have not one absolutely teeny tiny microscopic thing to be jealous about. I'm not jealous. Well. I know we shouldn't talk about this here. Can if you want. I want to. You help. <laughs> you bet. You're, you're really.
really not jealous? Not one teeny tiny itty bitty microscopic bit. Wow. You know, you look all your life for somebody who's secure and confident, and then when they finally come along, you just have to ask yourself, what kind of a sicko doesn't get jealous? <laughs> You know, I'm not the jealous type either. If my man is spending more time with another woman, I simply get out of bed and leave the room. Patty, obviously there were men in your life before me, but I just, I just sort of feel like when I met you, my, my life just began all over again. I, I love, love you. you. <laughs> Two. We're home. Oh. Oh, sure. Now they're cute. Most of the night it was like a riot in a little women's prison. <laughs> so, how was the vagina monologue? Oh, so great. Except for some drunken Marines in the lobby screaming that they got ripped off. <laughs> Well, we made brownies. Ooh, brownie? Good. <laughs> so it sounds like you guys had a good time tonight. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Well, until we ran into an ex-boyfriend. Not that it mattered, because Max doesn't get jealous. Oh, God, don't you hate that? Yeah, and the worst part is, he's proud of it. Would it kill him to break a chair or turn over a table? <laughs> well, maybe he... Maybe he's just suppressing his rage. These are yum, yum, yummy. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's ready to blow. <laughs> hey, Abby, you and I should get a coffee sometime, huh? I'll leave it, let you be the princess. Yeah, that would be fun. If, call me next week. Okay. Good night. Good night. Thank you. She is so cool. Can I help you? Yeah. <laughs> that third monologue made me kind of hot. <laughs> Let me get her upstairs right quick. Hi, Daddy. Hi, sweetie. Is Abby sleeping over? Oh, honey, that's so sweet, but grown-ups don't have sleepovers like you do. Uh-huh, she used to sleep over all the time. <laughs> Teddy. Come on, you can't stay in there all night. I've got the December Vogue. I could stay in here until the spring collection. <laughs> Look, honey, I honestly don't see how it benefits a relationship to share this kind of information. But listen, if, if you do, fine. I'll share. Go on. All right. <clears throat> Abby and, and I. I can smell her brownies on your breath. <laughs> Abby and I have been really good friends for a long, long time. And we were just going through a really tough time, both of us. We were like two people who were, like, lost together. C can you understand that? Yes. Okay, then everything's okay? No. <laughs> who else? Who else were you lost together with? Uh, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna go there. I've had one other significant relationship in my life, and that should be good enough for you. Sorry, I'm not like you, oh, zen master over petty emotions. <laughs> Maybe you can make chit-chat with the people I've slept with, but I can't. So how do you want to work this? Either you start talking now, or I go to the next PTA meeting and ask for a show of hands. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work, but abracadabra, alakazam, I hold your tongue in my magic hand. <laughs> And now you're quoting her. Hey. Ready for lunch? Uh, you two go without me. I didn't get any sleep last night. Yeah, 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 we know. You and Max up all night making hot, hot love. <laughs> yeah, whilst Judy gets her recommended eight hours. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> Actually, we had a fight. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. That's terrible. Thank God, that whole hot, hot love thing was working my last nerve, hear me? <laughs> Have you ever heard me talk about Max's friend, Abby? Vaguely, isn't she that earthy, crunchy person who babysits? 
Oh, my God, you listened? Well, of course I listened. Not that self-absorbed. She babysits, uh, what's his name and who's its face? Oh, you know, it's a shame they already have godparents. <laughs> anyway, all this time I thought Max and Abby were just friends, but it turns out they had this thing. <gasps> what do you want us to do to her? I know people. <laughs> trash her. Can we trash her? Because, you know, I never liked her. Well, listen, guys, I really do appreciate the death threats, but I like Abby. Oh. Teddy, if you can't say something bitchy, don't say anything at all. <laughs> guys, I had a couple of revelations while I was sniffing the ads in Vogue last night. Number one, obsession for men is really girly. Yeah. <laughs> Number two, Max was alone for four years. It's naive to think he wouldn't be with anyone else. I am not going to become one of those bitter, jealous women whose heart is turned to stone. Hey, I'm in the room. <laughs> Wait a minute, what are you doing? We made plans to have coffee. I said I'd have coffee, and I'll be damned if I'm not going to have coffee with that tramp. OK, baby steps. So Gladys said she could stay late tonight. You want to go on a date? Oh, sorry. I can't. I'm having dinner with Abby. <laughs> You're sure spending a lot of time with her. Yes, I am. So you, uh, you really like her? What's not to like? Oh, please, that thing with you and the sleeping? <laughs> she was there for you before you met me. I think that's terrific. OK. Yes, it is OK. Jealousy is so petty. I pity petty people, don't you? <laughs> Honey, you don't have to do this, you know. Do what, darling? <laughs> Make friends with Abby. I know I don't have to. I want to. I genuinely want to befriend my fiance's former lover. I don't see what the problem is. Yeah, it's just, there's no problem. It's just, you guys really have that much in common? <laughs> Do we? Imagine me and you. I do. No matter how they toss the dice, it had to be. The only one for me is you and you for me. So happy together. Me and you, and you and me. No matter how they toss the dice, it had to be. The only one for me is you, and you for me. So happy together. So happy together. And how is the weather? So happy together. Hillary, what are you doing here? It's only 3.30. Close the door. This is an intervention. For Hillary, it's about time. No, <laughs> Teddy, it's for you. For what? You don't even see it, do you? This Abby woman has become an obsession. Some sick, multi-grain nightmare. <laughs> Abby has not changed me. But may I say, your moon is in serious retrograde. <laughs> What's that around your neck? This? Oh, amber. It's supposed to have healing powers. Yeah, well, we all know that the only stone that has healing powers is a diamond. And you used to know that, too, Teddy. <laughs> you look like Billy Jack's wife. <laughs> You guys are making way too big a deal out of this. I'm the same person I always was. Really? Mm hmm Then what are those on your feet? They're Birkenstocks. <laughs> and you don't have a problem? So what? They're comfortable. Isn't comfort the whole idea behind shoes? <gasps> hey, I don't make fun of your religion. <laughs> Listen, I know that cleansing my body and my spirit has been hurtful to you. But we will get together tomorrow night, and you'll see. I am the same Teddy I always was. OK? Peace. Another failed intervention. You know, there's nothing we can do for her until she admits she has a problem. Ah, let's go get hammered. Not right behind you. Let's see. I can have the chickpea burger or the chickpea dog. <laughs> or we could go someplace else. No, I'm hungry enough to eat a chickpea horse. <laughs> I really have to thank you for getting me into yoga. I'm as limber as Gumby. And let me tell you, Pokey's happy. Oh, listen, I got us tickets to the Pete Seeger concert on Friday night. You know, Teddy, uh, we've been spending an awful lot of time together, and, and I've really enjoyed it, but, but there's 
One little thing. God, it happened so long ago, and there's really no easy way to say this. What, that you slept with Max? You know? Yep. Say, so, yeah, how is the grilled tofu? Can you taste the tofu? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. You've known all this time? Yep. And, and it doesn't bother you? Oh, well, uh, I, in the beginning, I was speck jealous, but I said to myself, well, actually, I said it to Max, who was pretty impressed. I said, I pity petty people. So I decided that we should be friends. Wow. <laughs> I mean, to actually go out and, and befriend your fiancé's ex-girlfriend, that, that's just admirable. Bizarre. <laughs> Come on, cut me some slack. It's at least a little admirable. These last two weeks have been really hard for me. I've twisted myself in a pretzel. I'm wearing jewelry that looks like gravel. <laughs> Drinking stuff I pay people to mow. <laughs> and do you know why? I haven't got a clue. I am taking the damn high road. <laughs> because that's the kind of person that I want to be. So we are going to be friends, no matter how awkward or uncomfortable or bizarre it may be. <laughs> Ready? Deep. I don't want to take a deep breath. And I don't want chamomile tea. I want a freaking Coca-Cola. <laughs> With all the caffeine and the sugar and the whatever the hell else it is they put in Coca-Cola. <laughs> I may have been holding a lot of feelings in. <laughs> of course you have, Teddy. Now, look, you, you don't have to be friends with me. Where you should be, you should be with your other girlfriends trashing me. I did call you a tramp. Well, that's, that's a good start. <laughs> You know, I really like you, and, and maybe one day we can be friends. When you're comfortable with that, you, you give me a call. Thank you. Wait a minute, did you just take the high road with grace and ease? I'm afraid so. Damn you. <laughs> you know anybody who wants to buy a used yoga mat and two Pete Seeger tickets? You have Pete Seeger tickets? <laughs> Abby and I are through. The Pete Seeger? <laughs> Uh, sorry, well, listen, I never really thought she was right for you anyway. You're right. She's all wrong for me, but you know who she's perfect for. Oh, no, no, no. No, we've been through this. No, we haven't. Oh, yes, we have. I was there. <laughs> Max, if I had to design a woman for you, I would create Abby. She knows how to strip wood. She has a mantra. She can read a compass. She breaks for rainbows. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to the cooking and the sewing and the all-natural fiber wardrobe. There's, there's, there's no question about it. She's the salt of the earth. She, she, she's a rock. She is. She is, and so are you. And I tried to be one, too. I, I tried really hard, but I can't do it. I, I can't even eat the muffins. Honey, listen to me. You put one rock next to another one. You know what happens? Pretty much nothing. Really? Yeah, really. A oh, rock needs needs wind or, or, or water or some force of nature to come along if he wants any kind of like excitement in his life. And that's me, the wind and the water. <laughs> Sweetheart, you're the perfect storm. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, oh okay. Who else? <laughs> After school? Yeah, she's free. Oh, I think she'd love it. Lies, how about a play date with Molly today? No. Can you pick her up? <laughs> Great. I'll see you later. Hey, I thought Molly was your best friend. She's not my friend. She's Carter's friend. She only wants to play with him. Hey, I'll have a play date with Molly. I love Molly. Maybe Molly and I will have a tea party together. You never have with me. Carter, why do you torture your sister like that? It's the only way I know how. But hey, I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, you... May I? Dad, I apologize for my behavior. And if you'll excuse me, I have a tea party to throw. <laughs> how did you do that? Oh, I just told him I knew his little secret. What's his little secret? Hell if I know. 